There is a term media play in the K-pop industry. Media play is defined as part of forced brainwashing to set a trend even if the results are not supportive. Since a long time ago media play in the K-pop industry has existed, in 2016 netizens discussed Astro's Chao and Wu who was often highlighted just because of his good looks. Recently the media play media was discussed again, this happened to the ESPA group, BTS, BLACKPINK and TWICE. Like there is an article that says last year BTS was chosen by the UN, this year it's ESPA. As if BTS and ESPA are parallel. In fact, BTS was invited to speak at forums where world leaders also made speeches. And ESPA is only in forums where students and ordinary people can also make speeches. Then there are those who claim that ESPA is the first K-pop girl group to appear on the main stage of Coachella, surpassing Blackpink. In fact, ESPA was only a guest invited by 88 Rising, much different from Blackpink who was officially invited as the main performer at Coachella. Then someone said that TWICE concert in the United States recently beat Blackpink's concert in the United States. In fact, according to it, Turing data twice only collected 87,000 viewers instead of 100,000. And don't forget, Blackpink was only two years old and there were only nine official songs that had been released at that time. The latest is soloist Nayeon who has claimed to be the first K-pop soloist to enter the top 10 Billboard's top 200 albums, defeating the solo albums of Blackpink members. In fact, Blackpink members did not enter the top 10 because their album only has two songs and Neon's album has seven songs. If you look at the actual facts, BTS and Blackpink are still the best right now, agree?